of Popco Studios in Oklahoma City. You're watching OU Football with Jake Trotter. I'm Jenny Carlson. Jake, the BCS rankings are out. OU's number one. A little bit of a surprise, isn't it? Uh, it wasn't last week or, or I guess the week in, in going into the game. And the, really the big key for Oklahoma was, believe it or not, Oregon State. Oregon State losing to Washington in overtime allowed TCU and Boise State, who both beat or Oregon State, to drop a little bit in the computers enough to prop Oklahoma to number one. It is the computers, though, because the humans, while they like Oklahoma, they're, they're definitely not propping them up to number one in the BCS rankings. What is it about the computers that love the Sooners so much? Strength of schedule. And we talk about, oh, you shouldn't play a tough non-conference schedule, and, and that's not the argument here. But what we do know is that it's the strength of schedule in the non-conference is the reason why Oklahoma is number one. And you look at the, the history of the BCS in Oklahoma, the computers have always benefited OU. 2003, 2004, 2008, Oklahoma was number one in the computers and not always number one in the human polls, but because they were on top of the computers, got to those national championship games. Okay, so if the Sooners keep winning, let's say they win out, big if, because it's got some tough games, including Missouri at Missouri this week, but if they continue to win, computer's gonna leave them number one? Is it gonna, uh, could they potentially stay at the top of those BCS right I now? actually don't think they would stay number one in the computers because you look at, it, it, if, not necessarily, okay. because you look at the SEC champ, Auburn or LSU, you know, you never know. If those teams were to go undefeated, you'd have to think that they would pass uh, Oklahoma in the computers. But other than that, I don't know if Oregon can pass OU. Oregon is really far down in the computers. And while they have uh, several tough games uh, left in the Pac-10, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. What's helped Oklahoma is Missouri, Oklahoma State being in the top 15 in the BCS. And they really need Florida State to keep winning. I think that's going to help, too. All right. Thanks, Jake. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma. And remember, our OU coverage is brought to you by Loft 401.